how to stay relevant on social media. Let's see here. Pander to the masses, yell incoherently, social commentary, speak from the heart? <laughs> I'm not gay. Oh, I think I've found a winner. Make sure you talk like you've just had a lobotomy and absolutely love making mistakes when on the inside you just want to... Coming in at fifth place, we have a race around the mines that more closely resembles a possum's nest with bridges and ceilings and tunnels and dirt mounds. What's that doing there? Yep, just another flip. Not really a lot I can add to that, I'm afraid, unless you've got something. The fuck do you want from me? In fourth spot, we have another clip where I didn't record early enough to have a decent build up, so it's all over in an instant, which takes away all excitement and anticipation over the flip. So here we go again. I didn't really gain a position or any time for that matter, but it was cool, right? <laughs> In third position, we have a dusty old track out and whoop whoop with a few drunken geezers and as the pack splits, I realised I took the wrong turn and took my own way off the edge, which couldn't have turned out better, I don't think. If there's any message to take away from this, it's that when society says you've got to go left or right, go right down the middle, bitches. Woo! True non-conformist right there. In second spot and in a random lobby with some random dudes, I found myself with some out of this world forces holding me back from reaching my full potential which led me to get a nice little nudge there, but I swung it around and held onto it. Uh, a little bit showboaty. Probably could have straightened it out there, but you know, why not? One of the pet peeves I have in this game is when people say that they choke. If you're in 5th position on the last lap and you crash, it's not a choke. If you're leading on the first lap and crash, it's not a choke. This is a choke. Come on, nearly there. Nearly- Oh! 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 Give it a few pumps to start the lawnmower. Put it on a studded collar and sell it in a sex shop. Stick it down your- oh. Alrighty, so stunt races earned you twice as much money a couple of weeks ago, leading a lot of those stingy racers like myself, who are still suckling at the teat of Rockstar's crippled economy, to go and give them a crack and, you know, make a bit of coin. So this week's question is, what do you like about Rockstar races? Is it A, they have a fancy logo on them and a broken leaderboard? Is it B, the negligence of forethought that goes into their tracks? because hang time somehow gets priority over finishing a fucking race. Is it C? They make you feel better about yourself, because you're always up against the lowest common denominator of the racing gene pool, and thus give you a good chance of winning. Or is it D? Nothing, because Rockstar creators are the equivalent of a prepubescent burger boy spitting in your soft drink as they mock and laugh at you behind closed doors. <sighs> Sunshine on my shoulders makes me happy.